Hey guys, Shane Starnes here with DroidModerX.com. Today I'm going to show you guys the Jelly Whiz ROM for the Verizon version of the Samsung Galaxy S3. Now this is a hybrid ROM. When I say it's a hybrid ROM, this is basically the Jelly Bean Touch Whiz uh, taken from T-Mobile and also one from Sprint. So you've got three versions of the Jelly Bean Touch Whiz that's been leaked for T-Mobile. And that's been merged with the Sprint version that's been leaked. And it's all been built to be able to run on Verizon. So this thing is pretty smooth by now. It's up to release number 9. Most of the bugs have been worked out. Um, one of the main features here obviously is Google Now. Uh, so if you're on the Ice Cream Sandwich version of TouchWiz, uh, you will notice a few differences. And that's kind of what we're going to focus on today. And then I'll show you guys how to install it at the end. So the first thing obviously is Google Now. If you press and hold the menu button... Google Now will appear. Uh, you do have, you've got your weather there. Uh, you have several other cards that will appear. And then, of course, you can use Google Search. Movie Times, Mobile, Alabama. And it will bring up a search there. Um, if I would have given a specific movie, it would have given me, uh, like, Movie Times, Brave. And it brings up the movie times for Brave. And then if we go into settings, uh, first of all, we will see that we have a new version. It's 4.1.1. Um, I am on the HD baseband because I flashed the stock version of that ROM, which can be found at the link. There's a link in the description uh, where you can find that. You can flash that to get the baseband. And then, of course, you can flash the Jelly Whiz ROM over that. And you'll have the latest baseband, the latest version of Touch Whiz, Jelly Bean. If we go to the build number here, it is Jelly Whiz Release 9 Note 2 Hybrid. The reason it says Note 2 is it does have some Note 2 features. So we'll go ahead and cover those next. If we go to one-handed operation, we can select the Samsung keyboard. We can select the calculator and the keypad in uh, call buttons. So if I go to the calculator, for example, you'll see that it's now uh, one-handed operation. If you click on the arrow, it moves it to the other side, which is very convenient. And if we go to the home screen mode, uh, you have either the basic home screen or you have the easy mode. Easy mode would be for people that have never used TouchWiz. It just helps you to get acclimated to TouchWiz. Most of you guys watching this do not need that. And blocking mode. This is a pretty cool feature. Uh, this is kind of like quiet mode on CyanogenMod 10. This allows your phone to uh, reject any notification during a certain time uh, times that you've selected uh, say from 9 p.m. to 6 a.m. and it also allows you to set the notifications that you want blocked and you can also add people uh, to your allowed contacts so that's a pretty cool feature uh, that is new in the Jelly Bean version of Samsung Touch Wiz. Other than that everything seems to be pretty much the same uh, you have all of your S applications there if you go to the quick panel settings you can actually change the widget buttons so these are your widgets you can change the buttons and you can also change the button order uh, one of my favorite here is the hotspot uh, that is working in this build so if you click that that's gonna go ahead and broadcast your 4g connection that you can connect to on your uh, your laptop or your tablet uh, you'll be able to use that hotspot feature directly out of the box uh, so that is a really cool feature and that's pretty much it for Jelly Whiz. It's just a pretty solid ROM here. Uh, the only issues that I've had are a few. I, I seem to have dropped data a little bit more often than if I was on just a regular stock ice cream sandwich build. You do have to keep in mind that this is a hybrid version. Uh, so it is kind of running T-Mobile, Sprint, and it's been fixed for Verizon. So just keep that in mind. Uh, for me, it hasn't been an issue because I've always had a good solid data connection. And one other thing that uh, is built into TouchWiz that kind of bugs me is when you open up the browser. And if we go to say, uh, we'll just go to droidmoderx.com. Now this is not an issue with the uh, with a ROM per se, just something that bugs me about TouchWiz. If we scroll through the page, uh, sometimes whenever you scroll up, it will enlarge the page. It's not really doing it here. 
But sometimes if you're scrolling down the page, it'll actually do your pinch to zoom uh, without you pinching to zoom, if that makes any sense. So that's something that kind of annoys me about the browsing experience. Other than that, this thing has been very fluid, very fast. If we go back to the home screens, uh, you can see just how fast it is. That is Project Butter at work. If we open up the app drawer, you can really see how it flies. Uh, one thing that I liked about this is in the ice cream sandwich version, if you downloaded an app, it put it on the last page of your apps and it didn't integrate it you know, alphabetically into your app drawer, which really bugged me a whole lot. Uh, I wanted everything just to be integrated and not have an extra page for my favorite apps or whatever. But that is how it is here. And I think we can also, we have like some new folder features. Uh, so if we, we can create a folder up top and you would name the folder. We just go Google just for the sake of naming it. And then now you can add to that folder. You have a little circle there under the folder. If you click the folder, it opens it up in a little triangle instead of a big box, uh, which is really nice. Just looks a whole lot cleaner in my opinion. So we'll go ahead and install this ROM. Download the ROM from the link in the description. You don't have to download any G apps. They are included. So we'll just reboot into recovery. Okay, so obviously to install this, you're going to need to have an unlocked bootloader. Uh, you can check out my video on how to unlock the bootloader. It's very easy. There's an application. You just click unlock and you're unlocked. Pretty simple. Uh, you'll need to have a custom recovery installed. Um, you can also check out my video on how to root and install a custom recovery. It's very easy. And then you can install this ROM. Uh, click wipe and then factory reset. You'll swipe to wipe. Cache, swipe to wipe. Dive it, cache, swipe to wipe. And then you will go back and install. And you're only looking for the Incubus uh, Custom Jelly Whiz Release 9. Big shout outs to Incubus for putting together this ROM. I know that it was probably a pretty difficult task to merge all those ROMs together and then make it work for Verizon. So kudos to him. Awesome job on the ROM. Uh, big shout outs to Incubus. So you'll select that and swipe to Flash. Um, also be sure to, I'm going to have a link in the description uh, to my page and then I'll have a big link to his page on XDA. I uh, want to make sure that you send donations to Incubus and uh, thank him in his thread for all the hard work. So once that's all installed we'll go back and we'll go to reboot and system and then I'll show you guys that he replaced that ugly uh, Verizon 4G LTE boot animation with a regular normal Samsung Galaxy boot animation which in my opinion is so much better looking. So there's the new boot animation. Uh, guys, you can find more of me at droidmoderx.com for the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Also, uh, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if it helps you in any way and subscribe to the channel. Thanks guys for watching. See you in the next one.